All right. Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, still on the planet, doing a weekly track roundup. My thoughts, my opinions, <laughs> my beliefs on a bunch of tracks that have dropped over the past week or so. <laughs> they are all linked down below so you could check them out for yourself, whether I loved them or hated them or felt somewhere in between. Also linked down below, of course, of course, of course is our turntable lab link. Uh, we get kickback from it. If you go over there and buy some turntable stuff, some records, some whatever helps out the channel. And on top of it, uh, we have our uh, Patreon page over here where we uh, put up some extra bonus monthly content that you can uh, support the channel in the process of getting access to our Discord community too. A cool monthly classic album live streams, exclusive Patreon only Let's Argue episodes. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And uh, we also have our YouTube Shorts page. Subscri sub subscri subscribe over there today. And uh, finally, Austin has come through with a, a bit of a shout out, kind of a recommendation, uh, saying that there are a few projects uh, that have come out from her favorite label, Erstwhile Records, uh, that are worth checking out if you're really into sound collages. And uh, yeah, you can find those linked below as well. All right, let's get into the worst tracks of the week. We only have a couple of those. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I need a lot of worst tracks in my life this week. Uh, they are as follows. Uh, we have a new one from DJ Khaled, a little baby future, a little Uzi vert on the track as well. I think Uzi is probably the best feature on the entire thing. Little baby and future, for whatever reason, are just sliding on this beat so hard and just completely incoherent to the point where they sound like one of those parody IG reels or TikToks of like, <laughs> I'm a millennial. This is how Zoomer music sounds now. <laughs> like, you know, I, I think Future and Lil Baby typically have a bit more, especially Lil Baby at this point, to communicate on a song than what they bring here. This just kind of feels like drivel honestly, though the beat is very sunny. Um, and we also have a new one from uh, French Montana coming through with a summer track. Good summer. And, um, you know, I like the instrumental a lot. I like the tune. It's just uh, French Montana himself is so obnoxious and packs this thing with so many awful, just dreadfully garbage bars that it just doesn't even really make it worth listening to. Uh, sadly, I, I wish it went to a more interesting artist. I'll say that. All right, uh, meh, tracks I was not crazy about, but still wanted to shout out. You might like them more than me. They are as follows. Uh, we have a new EP out from Turnstile, who have brought on none other than like jazz fusion outfit, Bad Bad Not Good, to kind of redo and reinvent a couple of songs from their last record, uh, just namely wanted to shout out the cut Alien Love Call on this one. I don't know if I'm like, you know, crazy about hearing the song redone in the way that um, it is on this track, you know, all smooth and groovy and jazzy like and so on and so forth. But uh, it's cool that they did it. It's cool that it can be done. It certainly makes me think of the song in a different way, you know, uh, and, and I think speaks to, you know, how melodic and universally appealing uh, all these tracks on the new Turnstile album are, uh, album are, the album are at their core, uh, you know, and, and how uh, the hardcore thing is really just like the way they're dressed, you know, that they could be kind of revamped in a number of different ways because the songs are, you know, that good and that versatile at the end of the day. So, you know, cool interesting not not taking a bullet for it but you know it, it, it exists and it's respectable and it's intriguing all right uh we have a new one from slow dive over here uh new album on the way classic legendary shoegaze outfit obviously though this may be my least favorite teaser from the album so far it's titled the slab and you know it's, it's not that there aren't some great dreamy cool guitar textures throughout the track there are it's just that i think the songwriting could, could have used a bit more variation across the uh, the song as well as you know the sonic palettes i think it does get a little tedious and repetitive after a while sadly uh we have a new one from metric uh formentera new album on the way or formentera 2 uh, you know obviously coming through with the sequel uh you know so far the singles or the music that we've heard from this record <clears throat> has very much been in line Ugh, i'm dying with you know the kind of funky and danceable 
uh, somewhat electro pop esque grooves of uh, you know uh, Formentera, the original one. Uh, but this track over here is an interesting change of pace in that it's a, a very uh, kind of over-the-top, anthemic, acoustic ballad that uh, is slightly glammy, I'll say that. Um, but yeah, the uh, track is uh, Nothing is Perfect. Check it out. It's not too bad. Uh, we have a new one over here from Laurel Halo. Uh, coming through with the song Atlas, new album on the way. A lot of collaborators on it. And it's sounding like it's uh, shaping up to be uh, a really instrumentally dense and versatile uh, little ambient and possibly drone album. I guess we'll see once the entire thing is out. Uh, but yeah, you know, just like... Um, really luscious and layered instrumentation. It's very beautiful. I think a little one note across uh, the length of its, you know, performance, uh, but still there's, you know, a lot of cool timbres. It's very refined. Uh, sounds like, you know, a lot of uh, arranging and effort went into kind of getting together all of the uh, collaborators and uh, various instrumental parts to make this piece happen. So, you know, give it a listen, give it a spin. If you, uh, you know, tend to like your ambient music, very heavily orchestrated. All right, uh, next, let's get into the best tracks of the week. We have a bunch of those also linked below, just like with everything else. A brand new one from Yule over here, Ghosts, is the title of the cut. And yeah, it's like a, a very eerie, beautiful, little digital acoustic ballad with heavily manipulated vocals and some beautiful guitar work. Uh, digging the vibe on this one quite a bit. It is intimate, it is quiet, it is pretty. Uh, like in this uh, track from a noise rock band that I just recently stumbled across uh, by the name of St Stoy? St story uh, is their name. <laughs> it's got some great riffs, some brutally nasty vocals, uh, some great drumming too on the cut. And uh, yeah, it's like pretty much everything that I could possibly want or enjoy out of a, uh, you know, contemporary noise rock song. Uh, what it feel like is the title of the cut. Uh, we have a new one over here from RXK nephew, uh, who is teaming up with uh, one of the better kind of punk rock outfits to be on the come up at the moment. It's, it's a really strange and surprising crossover to uh, be honest. But uh, but yeah, RXK is uh, basically featuring on the song from Spiritual Cramp, Hospital Bombing is the name of the track. And to sort of add to the insanity of this, um, it's not a song that's that's in RXK's or Spiritual Cramp's, you know, usual wheel, wheelhouse, it's a reggae song. It's a reggae song. It's, it's honest to God, a reggae song. And you know what? Despite all of the crazy, wild, and harebrained, you know, things crossing over on this track, it, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. It's great. It's, it's somehow awesome as fuck, honestly. Um, <laughs> so give it a spin. Give it a try. Uh, we have a new one from Olivia Rodrigo, second single in this album cycle. Bad idea, right? Um, I'm liking this one. You know, I, I thought at first there were some elements of it that rubbed me the wrong way because it felt maybe a little novelty, a little gimmicky with, uh, you know, the super bright vocal harmonies with the, uh, you know, kind of girly, sassy spoken word passages and all the talk of like, you know, uh, seeing your ex again and lying to yourself about that and so on and so forth. But, you know, the riffs are, st are sturdy, sturdy riffs. And um, it's still a fun track overall. By the end of it, I was like, you know what? I'm vibing to this. I'm digging on this. This is this is it. This is good. This is fun. This is like, you know, different uh, for her, you know, because it's um, obviously uh, a little punky, but I don't think she's done a track that kind of leaned this, this hard, uh, on sort of like, you know, uh, a narrative and, um, you know, kind of a spoken word thing. And, uh, you know, it comes together, you know, a little chaotic, a little manic, uh, a little, uh, uh, unhinged and in a fun way, you know, mind you. And, uh, yeah, digging on it. Looking forward to, uh, seeing how this works into the rest of the record when we, uh, get that. All right. Uh, we have uh, one from this band that I'm just stumbling across this week. No bro. Uh, the song is titled Let's Do Drugs. And it's about just that and absolutely hilarious. Uh, I, I don't want to talk this one up too much or over explain it or anything. But you know, it's got some nice hard rock riffs to it. Uh, some gruff lead vocals, a great groove and just very funny uh, lyrics and, and vocals about doing drugs. Check it out. All right. Um, we <laughs> We have a new one over here from Miguel number nine featuring Lil Yachty. 
uh, who comes through almost with like that, you know, kind of like a uh, crazy Poland, uh, like vibrato a little bit on his feature. Uh, but for the most part, like I'm kind of wowed by the, um, the vocal harmonies on this new track from Miguel. They sound like something off of like an animal collective record or something. And this is sort of a strange instrumental for him to pop onto uh, as well. Seems like Miguel is uh, still doing some fun and, um, you know, explorative stuff uh, in this recent leg of his uh, career. So, you know, happy uh, for him about that. Very cool that he's staying creative and uh, trying some new stuff and making fun songs in the process. All right, we have uh, uh, one from Caro Caro Benito over here. This is just an announcement. Apparently, they've they've penned the 2023 Pokemon World Championships theme. This is not a drill. That's insane. And, and it's cool and it's fun. It's it's a cool little theme. Check it out. It's linked down below. But, uh, you know, awesome for a uh, uh, the band to have uh, nailed down such a neat little crossover opportunity, especially considering how much, uh, you know, uh, the world of, of video game music, especially, you know, that of Nintendo uh, has uh, inspired their music. So awesome. Cool. Neat. Awesome. All right. Uh, moving on from there. Ghostface Killer. Yup. Featuring Remy Ma. A uh, little trap cut with lots of shouty, in-your-face, overly aggressive vocals. I'm kind of liking this switch up from Ghostface. Uh, it's just sounding really exuberant. Uh, it's sounding crazy. He's giving off like psychotic, you know, uh, just explosive, uh, you know, not, not just like old school, like Supreme clientele kind of energy, but almost like, you know, Scarlet kind of energy. It seems like he's, you know, reacting in a very good way, you know, putting his own style on it, uh, you know, reacting to, you know, some of the hyper aggressive, just like, you know, really in your face rap music coming out of New York right now, be it, you know, through some of the drill stuff or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going hard. It's sounding good. And Remy Ma sounds great on the track as well. I mean, Ghostface lyrically isn't uh, doing as much as I, I think maybe old heads would typically expect uh, from him at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like that gets swapped out effectively for him just bringing that great golden voice and uh, just going hard as hell and just sounding just over the top on this track. It works. It's, it's almost got like Onyx energy to it as well, you could say. So cool. It's a good track. All right. Um, like in this new cut over here from uh, Fred again, who is uh, crossing over with a singer who I've mentioned on the channel a few times, Obong Jr. And um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, they, they bring together some uh, very uplifting, bright, positive, you know, house and, you know, kind of like a, a danceable energy on this track. It's great. It's uh, just good vibes and an awesome, uh, a surprising bridge on this cut as well. I'm liking that too. So um, yeah, Fred again uh, uh, nails it down again. All right, we have a new one from Blonde Redhead as well that I also wanted to shout out. Uh, before is the title of the track, I believe our third taste of uh, the trio's upcoming album. And they're sounding as you know whimsical and as eerie and as strange and as beautiful as ever. I think it's a, a you know solid song, good production, and uh, you know breathy, enchanting vocal performance as well uh, as again we typically uh, come to expect from them. And uh, finally, shout out to uh, Alan Palomo, uh, you know, formerly Neon Indian, uh, who has come through with two more tastes of this uh, upcoming record. Uh, I'm not so crazy about the second one that came out, but Club People, Club People here for me is um, is the bop, is the banger. And, uh, you know, it's got uh, some classic 80s synth pop vibes, very theatrical lead vocals. Uh, it's, again, over the top and uh, very dramatic and, uh, you know, a little tongue in cheek as well. And um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Alan Alan is killing it in this uh, new kind of self-named solo era of the, uh, oh, I mean, it's, you know, it's been solo, but still, you know, solo era of the, uh, of the career here. It's really cool to hear him, uh, you know, bouncing back creatively in an awesome way. And I hope that, uh, you know, younger fans who maybe weren't there for the chill wave stuff um, are kind of taking notice because, uh, you know, I think he's doing some, some cool shit, uh, shit here. So uh, that is going to be it, I think, for the uh, weekly track roundup. That's it. You guys are the best. Love you. Thank you very much for watching. Mwah. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel, huh? Um, yeah, that's going to be it. Mwah. Forever.